Wednesday day of racing in your garage. Today, we're going to be mobile. We're going to the track. We're going to go over here to Ohio Valley, Kentucky. Check out some racing. Uh, I got a couple buddies running tonight. Try to do some interviews. Get some action. Maybe get to talk to a promoter. Kind of get a little glimpse of the inside world of them. What they're doing all the time. And uh, hopefully catch some sweet ass racing going on. So we'll see how we get there. Oh, it's cool. And my toolbox box just popped open. Damn, it's just a great day. <laughs>
first off, how was your first pass down the track? You got right lane? You got the right lane. You got the dummy mm -hmm. I wanted. You got the wind. The car went straight. That's all I was worried about. And then all and iron out the back door. How do you feel about the next round? I'm feeling pretty confident about that next round, as long as I get the right lane. Right lane's what you need? Yeah, right lane's what I need. And then we see Peanut made his pass, and he moved on. Yeah. You guys are good. You guys are good. So, uh, did you have any kind of worries about the car making your first run? Only knowing what Derek did to it while I was not looking. <laughs> so Derek, my tuner. Yeah, Derek's made my it, tuner. Made I don't know what he did. He, he did some adjustments here to help leave the line. So, hope pray it just stays all four on the ground. All right, man. Well, we'll be filming you again. We appreciate the talk. Well, you got a name for this part? No, no name. All right, so this, got, this is a racket car. It's still got the delay box in it. Still got the delay box in it. We Tell kicked us. the rod out of the my S10, and we're just having something to have fun and play with. And All right, you tell us a little bit about the build. Uh, it's a round two chassis, probably built in, I don't know, the 80s. We put a new cage in it. It's got some bullshit non-adjustable coilovers. Not an adjustable stretch on the front. I just a. Uh, and you made your first slip down. You got the W. Yeah. Right. So how'd you feel about your first pass? Uh, normally you let go of the steering wheel and car go straight down. It went a little bit to the right. So I got to check my tires. But I don't know. How do you feel about going into the next round? Well, I'm either gonna race that Pro Mod or another Pro Mod. So. <laughs> but it's a little Chevette that can, right? Yeah, we hope. All right, man. Well, good we're luck. Gonna, we're gonna spray it this time. Well, good luck on your next round. Hopefully, we'll see you in the W. All right. All right, boss. See you, man.
All right, so we're here with the gimmick, talking to Scott. Right, Scotty, right? Scotty. Scotty, what's the gimmick here? He tells me about the car. Had just uh, stuff that was left over in a sinkhole. We just kind of drug it out, welded it where it touched, and went racing. What about your uh, motor plant there? What do you got in there? Uh, it's a 400 small block with twin uh, 62 millimeter turbos. It's actually my old derby car motor. Oh, you race derby cars too? I used to do derby. Yeah, you said something about doing mud trucks too, didn't you? Yeah, I used to mud race quite a bit also. Chevy with, guy? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we've, we've always raced something. Bounce around between drag racing, mud racing, derby racing. How long have you been drag racing? I've been drag racing since I was 13. Damn, junior dragsters in or? No, I actually started out in a 74 Nova. I had won a costume contest for a Halloween and the prize was $100. And there was an old Nova that sat at a guy's house. I went over there and said, hey, I give you 80 bucks for it. <laughs> he bit and took it home and gutted it like it was a derby car, basically gutted all this stuff and then put an old 400 small block in it, stock one and went racing. Hell yeah, man. So uh, how long you had this car together? This one right here, I think right at two and a half years, three years maybe. Yeah. And you just, uh, you went what, two rounds tonight? Yeah. Yeah, two rounds tonight and you, get, you got put out, but ain't no big deal. And you race against a pretty fast guy too. But you held your own. Yeah, it's, it's still new new to us combo. We ain't, the turbos, we was fighting a wastegate issue and we just now figured it out. So we haven't really been able to work on our timing and fuel any because we were fighting that. So we figured that out. So it's, it's definitely got a lot more in it. We was only running eight pound boost, so that's that's nothing. Yeah, no, you got a lot to go there. What size turbos are you running? 62. 62s? I got you. All right, man. Well, what's your channel name again? So it's uh, Sketchy's Garage. Sketchy's Garage on YouTube. I basically do the same thing. I do a lot of no prep racing, a lot of some of the street outlaw stuff, do some of that. A little bit of everything. You plan on coming out again here, racing this? Is this the only track you race at? No, nah, basically anywhere and everywhere. Salem, 60, all them? Yeah. Right on. I actually built it to race asphalt. So it this, this car is really not set up to run on front side stuff. But. I got you. All right, man. Well, we appreciate your time, Scotty. All right, man. You have a good one. Nice to meet you, buddy.
Valley tonight. Did not disappoint. We went with their ghost in Daniel Garrow and his nephew Peanut. Uh, Peanut was running a Chevette. Daniel was running back in black. And it did not disappoint one bit because they went, you know, a total of six rounds each. Or I'm sorry, three rounds each. There's only six cars in each class. Which that kind of was iffy, but at the same time, make do with what we got. Daniel went in there. He won every round. He got where he won his first race, got a by in one of the finals. And then Peanut, he had to pound a little bit harder at it. He won all three of his races. Um, did not disappoint one bit. Peanut won the uh, super light uh, title. And Daniel won the uh, flyweight belt. So they both, uncle and nephew, got their pictures taken as winners. And uh, we got a lot of good content. So, long hard day. We are tired. We are worn out. There's a lot of walking. We should have took the four wheeler, but we did. But now we're headed home after a good night of racing. Like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And we also met another uh, YouTuber, uh, Sketchy's Garage, which he done an interview with us. And on his car, he had a gremlin. Uh, that was small block Chevy Turbo, so that was great. But uh, you know, make sure you guys give him a like and follow and subscribe to him too. But uh, yep, signing off. Let's start racing. We're out.